Hello students, today we're going to be talking about the parts of an essay. So go ahead and open up your Google document, parts of an essay, student notes, and here you will find your guided notes. And as we go through the presentation, you will fill in the missing information, which is highlighted as you will see in the presentation. The parts of an essay, what is an essay? It's a piece of writing that gives your thoughts about a subject. All formal essays include the following paragraphs, introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion. Essentially, an essay is a sustained train of thought about a topic. The introduction, of course, is the first paragraph of an essay. It begins with a hook and some background info. Uh, most importantly, it includes a thesis statement which is the roadmap for your entire essay. It even gets its own section here. Your thesis statement is a statement with a subject and an opinion. It responds directly to the prompt if there is one. Um, for instance, with adversity, how can adversity have a positive outcome? Well, adversity can have a positive outcome because you will learn from your mistakes. Your body paragraphs, paragraphs between the introduction and conclusion, they develop a point you make that supports your thesis statement. Um, it will include facts and a specific example and details about that example, and then some of your own commentary, your own opinions, your thoughts on um, that example you give. The conclusion is the last paragraph of your essay. It may sum up your ideas and reflect on what you said earlier in your essay, go over your main points, revisit your thesis statement. You may not want to restate it word for word, but um, you want to make your main point again, uh, and it gives a finished feeling to your essay. It makes it sound like it's done, wraps it up very nicely. One more really important thing we have is transitions. These are words, phrases, and sentences that link ideas and provide a smooth and logical flow to your thoughts. And this is important so that your reader can easily follow your ideas, that they're logically presented. Let's take an example. Let's take a look at a couple uh, examples. This first paragraph, um, it's a paragraph written without transitions. It says, traveling is my life. I work every day to fund my next trip. I work on my... I went on my first trip by myself. I went to the Netherlands, Scotland, and Ireland. I knew that I would spend the rest of my life traveling. I'm so addicted to traveling that if I am not traveling, I'm planning my next trip. I receive many emails a day from different traveling websites. Sherman's Travel and Travel Zoo are two of my favorites. The first thing I see in email is sale, $500 all-inclusive five nights in Hawaii, and I am already there. I am imagining myself lying on the beach far away from my daily responsibilities. So let's take a look at these same two paragraphs with transitions and see the difference it really makes. So with transition. Traveling is my life. I work every day to fund my next trip. When I was 22, I went on my first trip by myself. I went to the Netherlands, Scotland, and Ireland. After that trip, I knew that I would spend the rest of my life traveling. I am so addicted to traveling that if I am not traveling, I am planning my next trip. Since I am addicted to traveling, I make sure to stay on top of the latest deals. I receive many emails a day from different traveling websites. Sherman's Travel and Travel Zoo are two of my favorites. When I open these emails, the first thing I see is a headline like, sale, $500, all-inclusive five nights in Hawaii. In my mind, I am already there. I am imagining myself lying on the beach, far away from my daily responsibilities. So take a minute and think about why this one is so much better than this one. The transitions help you when I was 22. It tells you when. 
after that trip again tells you when um, right here we have a transition into the second paragraph it's a nice flow going from the information in the first paragraph to the information in the second um, since I am so addicted to traveling I make sure to stay on top of the latest deals that's a nice sentence to move us into her next um, bit of information in her body paragraph about how she keeps up with websites. I receive many emails a day from different traveling websites. Um, right here, when I open these emails, the first thing I see is a headline like uh, sale $500 inclusive. So this again, this shows when. Um, this is this light kind of shows, for example, um, in my mind that that tells us it makes it more clear that she's imagining from the get-go um, and it just makes it a lot more clear to follow her ideas and know exactly what she's talking about so um, transitions really important and please include at least five examples of transition transi please include at least five examples of transitional words or phrases 